Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be reviewing 50 tweaks for you, so it's going to be a longer video. So keep in mind, we're only going to share one cool feature for each tweak. So let's get started. Yeah, everything is black, and this way it doesn't blind you in the dark. So if we want to go down here to night mode and look at some of the settings, you can actually set it for each application individually. If there's a particular application you don't want night mode enabled for, you can actually go in here to uh, pre-application settings and turn it on and off just by toggling the toggle on and off. You have to set it up and you see here I've got it set for Cydia and you just simply draw your password in and when you draw it in here it'll actually let you open it up it's that easy so you can configure it a million different ways guys it is a little pricey but there's a free version of it so you want to check it out for free first this one here you see you get these three different things you can actually customize it quite a bit you can you can change it up to the iOS 6 style if you prefer it but I prefer the iOS 7.1 style that's called better power down it's 99 cents and big boss Alki and now when I triple press I get my little message box and all I have to do is just type the contact name in there and once you type one letter it'll give you a list of different names that you have in your contacts you can actually send photos and you can do a number of different things you can reply directly from the message you don't have to open up the message app there's just a whole lot with it guys check it press and we'll get our multi app switcher up and you see you got all these toggles up here at the top you can actually swipe through them if you want to move through some of those and then here at the bottom you can even move those toggles up and down and if there if there was audio playing you would have media controls down at the bottom. You actually got a brightness control over here on the right, on the left side. You have a volume control right here, and you have what's called hot corners. And you do, you can swipe up to invoke. You can increase your animation speeds with this right here if you want to. Uh, let's turn them all the way down, and that should be as fast as they'll go. So custom speed needed to be turned on, and you can you got the old TV. Everybody wants to know what my animation is when I lock. You see, I get that little line across the center of the screen. That's coming from Spring Device Three, and you can change up your app sliders. You can hide that. You can hide different icons. You can you can customize folders, lock screen. Uh, features I mean there's just so much in here and you can call it a tweak whatever you want right here it is and what this does is it saves all your city of tweaks if you had to restore or re resync your device you could actually save all of your city of tweaks and then just plug your device up and put them all back on your device at one time without having to download every single tweak one at a time. This is a tweak right here is the little icon and what it does you just simply turn it on and once you turn it on it increases the speed of things like Facebook, Safari, anything running on JavaScript this thing and it does work awesome guys out of all of them on the in the CD store this is the one I prefer compared to like Speed Intensifier uh, there's another one I can't think of right off the top of my head, but this is 99 cents. It's not that expensive and one definitely worth checking out. And it's in the Big Boss too. And you see right here you can have it speak applications, all of them, or you can select which ones you don't want it. To. You can turn it off for certain ones. If you don't want it to read your iMessages, you got, all you'd have to do is turn that off and it wouldn't read your messages when they come in. Well, it comes with, with several pre-installed and I've got the mail widget to come to open up on a triple press. I've already got that set, so let me show you what it is I'm talking about. We're at the springboard, so if I decide I want to send a mail to someone, email, I triple press and I get my email box popped up. All I have to do is fill in the information, send it on its way. The tweak we're going to look at, guys, is called Color Keyboard for iOS 7. 
and you can get this for a dollar ninety nine in the Big Boss repo and I've already got the settings pulled up here and that's pretty much all I'm going to show you. I'll have a different keyboard and you see we do. There's the pink and there is the other one uh, and you see you get this little two bar that pops up here and you can customize that to display any number of apps you want in any order you want as many as you want it's on icon you go to dock right here and you can turn this on and off uh, and you can customize your shortcut right here and you see you got six of them originally and you can add as many as you want and you can change the theme and all that it keeps from blinding you in the dark if you're using your device everything that normally was white will be black it just flips the colors and it keeps you from having all that glare at night it's definitely worth its weight in gold to me I really enjoy it and you'll see when the text message come in here it's green because our icons green if our icon was blue we'd be getting a blue flag paint then and I've got the uh, sound turn. Xanimer 7 this is another awesome tweak in the Big Boss repo for $1.99 and what this does is it adds animation to now with this installed you see how you just got that cool fade in and they drop down from the top 99 cents and you can see right here on Cydia the, the badge is, is sort of the color of the icon and that's the way that they're set and you see on Facebook my badge is it's blue and on expires it looks purple and what this does is it just sort of changes up the way the control center works and the way it looks you can customize it many many different ways in here you see you can blur the background and have a great idea so if we swipe up from the bottom you see we get these toggles here at the bottom here's your media controls and up here's the little cards that you want as you can see here uh, it's got your RSS feeds up here at the top you got the time and date weather you got you can set it to have all of your mail uh, any apps you want notifications for you can have it right here everything on your screen all this can be customized to any way you want it to be screen you can see it's even animated if you see in the background there the clouds are sort of moving as you look at it and you got your forecast in here at the bottom and if you want your extended forecast you can actually swipe you see up here at the top I have some uh, applications included in there and if I want to open one of them I just tap it and it'll take me right to that very quick way to uh, interact with and I'm just sending something and you see here uh, it's green as well also but you see there on running on my springboard and as I swipe through you see it moves too to get this you'll have to install live wallpaper shot album and it's free also and you can see it's compatible with iOS 6 and 7 and what this does is saves all your screenshots into their own album inside your phone An album that's labeled screenshots and that's coming from and we'll actually have to reboot the device to get this one to come up I'll go ahead and turn it off set up who can contact you when you have do not disturb turned on on your on your device and it's pretty awesome to say the least so let's go in here to the settings and let me show you around a little bit and it's called disturbed please like I said and up here it's an app switcher that works a little bit different you can change up things you got some toggles in here you can have uh, you can flip through different toggles you can adjust them in whatever order music icon into the album art so let's go ahead and start this song playing right here and you'll see when we come back out my music icon is now turned into the to the album art and it'll change when the song better power down and what this does is it gives you some different options for powering off your device you see you've got the slide to power off slide to reboot slide to respring and the cancel they also offer a iOS 6 theme, so if you rock the iOS 6 style, that is part of that tweak as well. Crypto note. And what you can do with this one is you can actually turn your notes into something that looks just like jumbled up letters and numbers. And to encrypt 
a note you simply just tap the little crypto up there in the center and we've already encrypted this one so we're going to decrypt so when i decrypt and i type in my password you can see we're brought right back with our note that we started with sticky and this is a lock screen tweak too down here in the bottom left corner you see right down here we got a little sticky there if we tap that we get the pop up here of our sticky on our lock screen and if we wanted to put the grocery list or something we need to do important today uh you can put that right there and every time you unlock your phone you'll actually see that tap to unlock this is called tap to unlock you see i got that little knock knock down there you can customize whatever you want to write down there but i've got it set to where i can actually touch up here and it'll unlock my device they have an option for touch to unlock anywhere and that's what i have it set oh, snooze now, if you're a person that you, uses your snooze button a lot and you want to change the length of time that you can snooze, that's now a, an option. You simply just go in here. You see here's snooze, and we have it turned on. If we want to change that from 15 minutes, if you want to sleep for an extra 30 minutes of a morning, just tap save, and in the morning when you hit your snooze button, you get 30 more minutes of sleep rather than the traditional nine minutes this one is called convergence and it's a lock screen tweak and you see we got the little arrows down here or chevrons whatever you want to call them if to unlock the device we have to swipe up in the center on that center uh, chevron and if we're at the lock screen here and we swipe this way we get some toggles and we can customize these toggles to be different things if you want to use your media controls there they are and we swipe back to the left if you swipe to the left you get your camera open up it's called play me and it does have a hashtag in front of it so be sure to put the hashtag in front of the play me you see in the status bar up here it's actually displaying the group and the song name as we go along it just keeps rotating that's called play me yes. cylinder and you see as I swipe through here, my icons rotate and it looks like it's a cube or whatever. That's coming from cylinder and you can actually choose whatever you want in here. The kind of animation or effects if you want to call it. Speed intensifier 7 and as you can see here you've got this little scale ranging from 0 up to infinity. And this increases the animations of your device. And you'll notice now that my animations are moving much, much faster. When we open something up or close an app, you see how much faster it is. That's coming from Speed Intensifier, Dock, Shift. And you can see down here in the dock that my background on my dock is gone. And I did that using Dock Shift. So let's go and look at some of the settings. That brings the dock back. Now I've got this little trans, sort of a opaque looking background behind my dock called sms contact photo 7 and that's what's putting the little photo of me beside the little message bubble right there and it'll do that in all of your message threads it's called sms contact photo 7 it's called side delete 7 and what it does if you put your apps in jiggle mode and you see you get an x on everything that allows you to delete everything right from the springboard. Uh, you don't have to uninstall through Cydia or anything like that. I'll switch it's spring. And what this does is you put your apps, open your app switcher, and if you flip the home card up, it'll give you some options to restart the springboard, quit the apps, or cancel. And that's just a good way to respring the device whenever you may need to. Screenshot album. And this actually has saved me a lot of grief because my photo stream has been forever clogged up with screenshots because I'm always taking screenshots. Well, now that's not the case because all of my screenshots are going into this folder called screenshots, labeled screenshots in my albums that's coming through this little tweet called screenshot album. And when you take a new screenshot, it automatically puts it in there. It's called Safe House. And what Safe House does is it allows you to unlock your device when you are on a safe network without entering your passcode. So right now I have it turned off. I have pass, uh, Safe House turned off. 
and you see I have to put my passcode in. Okay, if we enable that and you have to type in your network name there too and then push the home button. Now when we unlock our device we won't have to put in our passcode because we're on the safe network. That's called safe house. That's the called next magic one. badges and you notice my badge on Cydia here is on the left corner, left bottom corner of Cydia. And we can move that anywhere we want to. We can change the color of it. We can do a number of different things by going in here to magic badges right here and it does require a respring though so I'm not going to do that but all you have to do is you can drag that badge anywhere you want it so if you want it right in the middle of your icon which you probably wouldn't then you can drag your sliders down here to be any color you want you see that it's changing the color of it up there as I slide these and you can also choose to base it on the color of the icon which is what I usually like but that's called magic badges priority hub and it's a lock screen tweak and what it will do is put the little uh, notifications on your lock screen as they come in you'll get a little icon popping up showing you which one it came from like iMessage or Facebook or such and you see the little icon there if you wanted to read that text you could just tap it and actually it would open it up or you could just close it back by touching it and if it was Twitter or whatever it would be there just the same you know you'd have your uh, Twitter icon there that's called Priority Hub. It's called Hidden Setting 7 and also Hidden Setting 7 Icon. They're two separate tweaks and I'm using Hidden Setting 7 Icon to open up Hidden Setting 7 and these are the actual animations and settings that Apple uses when they tweak the devices and these were uh, the next one is called lock your app free and what this is is a way for you to lock your app see I have Cydia locked and I have to actually draw this little password before it will unlock it that's coming from lock your app free now if you've ever left your phone somewhere and you're afraid a friend's going to read your messages or something like that or you don't want your uh, emails you know read by certain people great way to put a password on those kind of applications definitely something you want to check out it has its own icon so it's sort of like a standalone app I guess you could say and you see right here you got your lock your app this is the free version and you get a lot more if you upgrade to the pro version so this one is called jelly lock 7 and as you can guess this is a lock screen tweak and what you do you have to touch the screen and you can see you got several different apps that pop up and these can be customized to be whatever you want them to be but if you swipe right it unlocks it if you swipe left it gives you the camera and like I said you can customize those apps to be whatever you want them to be in whatever order you want them to be repower and all it does is give you some more options when you hold down the power button you are presented with a slide to power off, slide to reboot, slide to respring, and a cancel. That's come from a repower, and that's a pretty awesome tweak as well. The next one is called iApp Lock, and it's a standalone app right here. We'll touch it and go inside, but it lets you set a code, and I have already turned it on for the Cydia app. So, in order to get into Cydia, we have to enter a passcode so you could set that up say for your message app or your email app anything like that that you want to keep other people from reading you could put this iapp lock on that and it'll be a cool way once you enter your passcode you go right on in with no problems just like always and that's called iapp lock Okay guys, this one here is called Byte SMS and it's probably one of the most wanted tweaks of the iOS 7 jailbreak whenever it was first coming out. That's what everybody was wanting was Byte SMS. You see the little pink icon down here in the bottom right corner? That's my messages app now. It replaces your stock app with the Byte SMS app, so keep that in mind. Uh, inside here, you've got a lot more options that you can do. Uh, like if you were on the lock screen and you had your notification screen pulled down right down here in the bottom right hand corner you see 
you got a little button there or icon if you just tap that it'll open up your Byte SMS features and you can send a message you can you can do you know whatever you need to do from right here and you can re do quick reply and compose and it's just a co-tweet guys definitely one worth checking out